<laughs> so this is our second year anniversary and we decided we wanted to make another video and share with you how awesome life has been how amazing life has been on this side of the window so we came out to Tropical oh yeah, Tropical Cafe Smoothie and said we share what life has been like for Jesus, John, and April. And I'll say this, today, our second year anniversary, the Lord, the Lord ordered our steps mm -hmm. and led us back to the place that we got married in. So that who used to be Deacon John is now Pastor John, was able to baptize our nephew, Caleb, Glory to God. today. Because it was on his heart. He wanted to be baptized. Mm -hmm. And um, and where the plans were to go one way, God made it so that it went another way. Right. So this day is even more awesome now. Awesome and special. And he's 11 years old. Praise the Lord. He got, we got an opportunity to be with him and be with family. God gave me the privilege of uh, baptizing him on the day that we got married two years ago. The day God anointed us, <laughs> Jesus, John, and April, officially. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been moving right along. Um, it's just been, I tell people, I, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Uh, we still living on the corner. Peace and joy. Well, no, we have upgraded. upgraded yeah. Because now we're on perfect peace and supernatural joy. It's even better. It's even better. And... When I think about, like I, I said on a very regular basis, that if I wake up every day and continue on as I have been, I am breaking April's world record because I have been on my job now uh, for four years, going on five in a few months. And um, I've never, I ain't never been on a job that long in my life. So I've had stability in my, my work. I have been following Christ for three years straight with no breaks where I have, I've never done that in my life. And I'm in a relationship, a healthy, godly relationship. And it's been two years. And like even today when my daughter wished us a happy anniversary, it almost made me cry because she said she was proud of me because this is the longest relationship I've been in her life. She's 20. And I came back with, in my life. It's been the longest re relationship I've been in in my life. And I'll be... 49 next week so it's like <laughs> it Thank is you, awesome to me yeah. it is awesome to me yeah. the way God is moving in our lives mm -hmm. I, I I didn't know John until I met John but I've known myself all my life and I, I know how, the changes that he's making in me and the best part about it is the people that are the closest to me my family they get to witness, they get to witness yeah. the change yeah. that God is making in me and that he's doing in me. And it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's amazing that, you know, that God allows me to watch what he's doing in you and what, and you get to watch what God's doing in me and growing us up and maturing us. And, and like you said, a year ago today, we it was it was it was uh, Deacon, Deacon John, and so now it's Pastor John. To God be the glory, uh, and it's just a wonderful thing that, that I, we just live 
in that pocket right now. We not forever, but we living in that pocket where God is speaking to us. He's using us, and we, we God is doing amazing things with us and for us and through us. And uh, it's 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 a different life. This is a different life. I knew that this type of life was possible. I didn't think that it was in the cards for me, but I knew it was possible. I believe that it was possible that you can live the way we live in right now. I, I believed it was possible. I didn't think that it was, you know, it was, it was going to happen to me. So she's saying she, mm -mm. she, she breaking new records, but <laughs> it's a new, I'm breaking new records too, because I didn't think that it was, I didn't think that this type of life, this type of love, this type of godly love um, was in the cards for me where we, we, we put our God first. We love him. We serve him. We worship him, love one another, love our family, love our children, love our grand baby. Praise the Lord Jesus. <laughs> grand baby. I'm a big yeah. mommy. He big daddy. Yeah. But I never thought, I always thought that true love stuff was only on TV or in books. Mm. that I used to love to read. Those romance books, I loved them. But when I would finish the books, it was a, it was a sadness there because I just knew it was in a book. I never saw a healthy relationship. Mm. I, so I didn't think it was real. You hear about stuff and even people who have been married for a long time, they just married for a long time as far as I know. Mm. So I I never thought, and so my running thing that I say now is that Tamala Man song. I never thought I'd be in this place. She wrote that for me. <laughs> she might have wrote it for some. I, she wrote it for me. Yeah, me too. Because I I never thought I'd be in this place. I, I I married a man who loves the Lord. I'm loving the Lord. I got we got a grandbaby. I got three babies. I got three J's. <laughs> when I think every time I think about that because let me tell my own story Harmony was on her way out the door she was going to college and as she was going out the door I was going to Georgia I was on my way out the door too and I know I trust with everything in me had I moved to Georgia I wouldn't be as happy as I am right now I wouldn't be in the place that I am right now. I thought that's what I wanted to do, but God had something different for me. And I'm thankful that I did not continue to try to do what I wanted to do because I wasn't marrying or been dealing with nobody who had no babies. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. Or I wasn't dealing with nobody who was younger than me. Like I am proud to say that I am a cougar. <laughs> I'm a cougar. That's funny. And that, but I'm saying how everything that I thought, God just listened to me talk with all his mouth. And then he showed me something different. But you like 30 seconds older than Yeah, Nope. Three years. Thank you. Okay. Three years. Call it what uh, you want. Okay. I'm a cougar. <laughs> I right. got a young buck. <laughs> That's awesome. That's funny. But then what's really funny is because he, I call him my young buck because he is, but he an old man too. He's an old man in the Lord. And that's good for me because he's helping me along in my walk, which is something that I needed, you know? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's just awesome. I mean, the, what we have to report in, in two years is that it gets better. You know, it gets better. And I thought that I was at my maximum level of happiness two years ago when we got married. I was like, man, this is it. If it don't get no better than this, Thank you, Lord. This is awesome. But it gets better. It gets better. The more the more we grow together, the more we grow in love of our God and love for one another, it just it gets better. The relationship gets better. I love spending time with her. She she's my best friend. And um I like and love her. Right? And so it's awesome. Yeah, that means something. That means something. That means a lot. It means a lot because, you know, you can be married and, you know, not like somebody. But when you like and love somebody, beyond that, my best friend, when I, when you marry your best friend, you will never, you know, it's a different thing. 
It's a different thing. And so, and then we're growing in love towards one another. And I remember you asked me, remember that time we was at the McDonald's, you asked me, can you think we'll continue to grow like this? I was like, as long as we're growing in the same direction, growing towards God, then we'll grow together. Remember you got I said, yeah, we, we can, it can stay like this. It can get better because if we're growing in God, growing in Christ, growing in our love for him, allowing him to do what he, allowing him to do what he wants to do in us and through us and for us, then uh, yeah, it'll get better and to God be the glory, it's get, it gets better. Yeah, I remember I told you um, that I was out ballroom dancing and I had just gotten there and I had to run to the restroom to fix, put my stockings on or whatever. And I was in the stall, put my stockings on and these three women, they were older women, were, you know, near the sink somewhere. And I heard one of them say, I don't want to fall in love because if you fall in love, you can fall out of love. I want to grow in love. And while I was in there putting my stockings on, I wasn't really even trying to hear them, but that, that stuck with thing. me. Yeah, that was like, like for real, because we're growing mm -hmm. in love. As, as, as I grow in the Lord, and our relationship is growing. Like, you can't get better than that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can't get better than that. Mm -mm. And what times when I'm going the, the wrong way, when I'm trying to act like, well, this is still right, or I can make it, you know, I always say I don't ever want to try to find no loopholes when it comes to serving the Lord. But there's some things that I'll be like, well, well, this one right here, he get me straight. <laughs> He get me straight. I remember one day I came home from work and I was mad. I was mad at somebody at work and I got off my chest what I wanted to get off my chest concerning that somebody and I felt like I was right in doing that. And he kept trying to get me to see that I wasn't so right and I was like one of the questions he said, "Well, if if I told you this story, if I was saying it to you, what would you say to me?" And I was like, Still saying what I was saying. He said, okay, let's go to the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. And it's not that he's getting me. He's showing me in the word what God said. So it's not like he's bossing me around, being dogmatic or nothing. He is sharing with me, helping me to do better in my walk, helping me to walk better with the Lord. By God's word, not mm -hmm. just off of something that he said, because what he was trying to say wasn't working. <laughs> wasn't working because so I, I wasn't trying to hear. So I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> and he brought it to he brought me to the word. Yeah. And that like when you that is awesome that I have a relationship like that. Yeah. That is first of all, it's unheard of for me. Huh. Yeah. It's also awesome. Yeah. Because he helps me to grow. But we do that for we do that for each other though. You know, it's a lot of times I'll be wanting to jump off the cliff too. And you'd be like, wait a minute now. <laughs> wait a minute, Pastor John. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So to God be the glory. I mean, again, two years, but it seemed like we said it last video, it seemed like we never um we had no beginning. We just always were. And uh, it's just the same, like two years seems like, what, 10, 15 us? Well, to me, it still feel like we just always were. Right. Like we didn't have a beginning. So I can't even put a time on it. Yeah. It's just like, it's, this is just how it's always been. It's yeah. no beginning. It's just been us. Yeah. It's just been us. Mm -hmm. Jesus, John, and April. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. when I, when, like, you know, we talk about it on a regular basis, how we even got started and everything. And I remember how I, I was, I was pushing the thought of Deacon John away. Mm -hmm. So for those months or however long, I can't even tell you how long that was, but for those months that that was going on, it was a struggle for me. And then when he told me I was going to be your wife, and I had peace. It's like I was going, I had a really uh, a relationship mm -hmm. with you before we even had a relationship. Uh -huh. And that's amazing to me. Yeah. That's amazing to me. And it's just, just seeing God move in our lives. 
-hmm. just it within the relationship, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just amazing. It's beautiful. It's, it's, it's beautiful to be a part of. It's beautiful to live it. Um, it's it's beautiful to be able to, <clears throat> to be able to share with people. You know, that's something I love to do. I love to share um, what God is doing and what God has done for us. Because God told me one of the things He told me when we were before I had the conversation, our first conversation was that He would use us to, uh, you know, to inspire people. Um, just our, just use us in our life and our story to inspire people. And I love doing that. I love letting people know it's possible. It's possible to find love. It's possible to find godly love, healthy love, fulfilling love, you know, a perfect love. I said, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a such thing as a perfect love. And not in perfection that I'm perfect, I'm perfect or she's perfect. We neither one of us are perfect, but we are perfect together. We are perfect for each other, and that's possible. To find it, because I don't think I found it. God did it. God did it. Yeah. I in in my finding God, mm. I get I, if if I want to say it like that, because of course when a man finds a wife, so I didn't find you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like that I, I I was determined to live for the Lord when I made that decision and I'm and I said it to God. I said it to God. I'm never gonna leave you again. I'm never gonna leave you again. Mm -hmm. And it was like three weeks after my saying that, no, that's not that's not it. I said that to him and then some other things happened and then I said I, I made another declaration to the Lord and three weeks after that. But because I had finally made up my mind to never leave the Lord, because my whole life, that's all I did was talk to him. What you say? I was dating him. I was dating the Lord. Yeah. I didn't. I wasn't married to the Lord. When I decided to say I do to God, mm -hmm. He allowed me to say I do to you. Glory to God. That's amazing. <laughs> but it wasn't until then, mm -hmm. and so. Now, when I tell people, like, I don't even, I'm uncomfortable when people want to talk about their relationships because this is my fourth marriage and I struggle with that. Am I going to be able to be, will God honor my marriage? And I done been married before. You know, I would just get married when I didn't feel like being married no more. I get divorced or whatever. And I, I, I was fearful of that. But God never honored any of those marriages. He never, he never okayed it. He did not put those married that those marriages together. He said, "What well, God put together, He didn't do that." And so when other people, He 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 put this together. If I wanted to leave, I can't leave because God put me here, and that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful that I don't want to leave. But mm -hmm. even if I did, yeah. like it's real to me. Mm -hmm. So when I talk to other people and they are in their relationships, I'm very careful because I don't know what God wants you to do. So who am I to say yay or nay? Because I don't know what God wants you to do. Mm -hmm. If God say yes, it's going to work. Mm -hmm. If he didn't, probably won't. I'm not. That don't mean it won't last, but it ain't going to work. Y'all, it, It's just not going to be right because mm -hmm. God got to be in it in order for it to be right. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I'm able to say that. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, I ain't acting funny when y'all, because I'm always say, if God say yes, I pray that he open every single door. And if he say no, I pray he break up every bit of ground so y'all can't get to each other. Because I want for everybody what I believe to be true, a God relationship. Mm -hmm. And I don't want for none of y'all a non-God relationship. Yeah, right. Because that's the only place, that's, that's the only place that, Peace is gonna live anyway. It's in the, in the relationship with the Lord, uh, of allowing God to be the foundation that you build your marriage on, the foundation that you build your relationships on. If He's not, then you got no boundaries. And then, you know, I'm big on this as well. That once you, you know, you have to protect your marriage too. You know, you have to protect your marriage. We have an enemy that hates marriage because he hates us and he hates union because uh, two people serving the Lord is a threat to his kingdom. And so we have to also 
brothers and sisters, we have to protect our marriages, build, and build walls and build forts around our marriages so that we can keep the enemy out. And there's some practical things that we can do. It's some, it's some real simple practical things that we can do and be aware of it so that we can keep God first, keep God foremost, and allow God to just use our marriage for his glory. God like, wants to use our relationships, our marriages for his glory to see that this is possible. You know, this is possible. If you serve me, this is possible. And um, yeah, to God be the glory. So we just wanted to share with y'all our second year anniversary. We're toddlers, y'all. <laughs> we toddlers. We had two years. Yeah. And also to to praise God that on our special day, yeah. we share that my nephew. He, he His desire was to be baptized, mm -hmm. that he wants to build a relationship with Christ. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That is amazing. So it's a double whammy on September 20th every single year. Every, every September 20th now we got two things to celebrate, his baptism and our, and our uh, blessed union. Yeah. So that's it from us. The Bittens, hey. Jesus, John, and April. Yes. Year two. More to come. Yeah, We're gonna be on YouTube. We're gonna be <laughs> on Facebook. We ain't going nowhere. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs>